This video will walk through the deployment of the Interprod Wi-Fi Network Switcher, which is a solution designed to help Android devices prioritize Wi-Fi networks they're connected to. It's important to note the main use cases for this solution before we deploy, so you have a better understanding of what these settings will help accomplish. It was originally developed to help a trucking company force Wi-Fi tablets to switch over from the in-vehicle Wi-Fi network to a truck yard Wi-Fi network. The in-vehicle Wi-Fi network was cellular based and the per megabyte costs were high compared to the network at the yard. Now let's deploy the app. Today I'll be walking through this demo with Knox Managed from Samsung. However, the process should be fairly similar across most of the MDM providers out there. If you run into any trouble, don't hesitate to reach out. We may have details on how to help resolve any issues you're running into. The first thing to do is approve the application in your managed Google Play account. To do this, head over to play.google.com work and search for Interprod Automatic Wi-Fi Switcher or head to the link below in the description of the video. Once the app is approved there, it should appear in your MDM. It may require a sync with your MDM. All MDMs handle this a little bit differently. Here you can see this application has already been approved for use in our environment. In Knox Manage, to deploy the application, we need to do a few separate things. We need to sync our Google Play account so the app shows up inside Knox Manage. We need to add the application to the group of devices we're going to deploy it to. We need to apply automatic permissions via the device policy. And we have to ensure that the device has the right Wi-Fi network configuration that we can push out to it and that it can connect to that network. So to start, click on Applications. And we're going to see here that the automatic Wi-Fi network switcher is already synced to our account. So we're able to deploy it. We'll jump over to the group and open up our demo group. Inside here, we click on Assign, and we choose the application. I'll select the Wi-Fi network switcher and click Assign. This app should be deployed via Android Enterprise. That's the only way to manage the settings inside the application. So we'll choose Android Enterprise. I'll also make it an automatic installation. So it's pushed out and installed onto the device and we're going to have it automatically run on the device once it's installed. Not all MDM providers can do this, so you may have to manually run it the first time. Then we're going to click on Set Configuration button. This is where we configure the application settings. Let's review what goes into here. The name can be anything you want. I usually put something short but descriptive. You'll need a license key to manage the settings via MDM. Contact us at supportedinterprodinc.com to purchase this. The minimum RSSI level will vary depending on your deployment. The higher the number, the worse the signal. 50 or 60 is usually a strong signal. 70 is medium. You don't want to set it too low or your devices could struggle to connect to the network. The scan interval is set at 900 seconds or 15 minutes. If this scan happens too frequently, it can impact battery life. But if you have to tell the device how often to scan for your preferred networks. And lastly, I'll add the preferred networks. If you have more than one, just separate them with a comma. I'll throw in my demo Wi-Fi and maybe a couple others. And lastly, I'll click Save. Once we've saved it, go ahead and assign it. And we'll click OK. Now we can see that we've added the application into the group. It will be assigned. And now we can continue on to set up the policies. I'll go over to the profile. And I've already got a demo profile that I've pushed out to the device. So I'll go ahead and click on that. 
and then we will modify this policy. Inside the policy, we'll click on application and we'll scroll down to the application permissions. We're going to add an application in and we want to grant all the permissions. It's important to grant everything because this application requires location in order to get access to the network settings and the Wi-Fi networks. So it won't be able to scan for Wi-Fi networks without that permission. Once we've granted the, the permissions for the application, these permissions will automatically get pushed down through your policy. The last part is to make sure the device has the Wi-Fi network that we're going to connect to. So if we scroll down to Wi-Fi and I add my demo Wi-Fi in here, my SSID is just demo Wi-Fi, and my security type is just a pre-shared passcode. So I'm going to go ahead and type in that passcode here. It's a pretty simple one. Once we've got all that installed or entered, we'll go ahead and save that profile. Once it's saved, we'll go ahead and make sure that the profile is applied to the device. And there we go. Now that it's applied, we can go ahead and flip over and take a look at the device itself. This is my device. You can see the Wi-Fi switcher application's already been installed. If I go ahead and launch it, you'll see here that I've got the three networks that I configured as preferred networks showing up here, my demo Wi-Fi, yard Wi-Fi, and DC Wi-Fi. And up at the top, I can see some of the current settings. I can see that it is managed. I've got my license key, and it is a valid key. I can see my other settings as well, what network I'm currently connected to and the value at which I'm going to switch networks. So for this demo, I just have a Wi-Fi access point here that I'm going to turn on. And when I turn it on and scan, it'll show up that that demo Wi-Fi network is available. And then the device will go ahead and switch over to that demo Wi-Fi network. We're going to force it to switch by pressing the scan button here. Otherwise, we'd have to wait that 900 seconds. So when I click that scan button, I can see the device is doing a scan. It's pulling up all these access points around, and it finds the demo Wi-Fi network. After a few seconds, it will switch over to the demo Wi-Fi network. And that's how the solution operates. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, contact us at interprodinc.com. Thank you very much.